Hi guys, Uncle Bob here again. Uh, today I got something a little old, uh, a little different and it's going to be a quick video. And uh, this is the box that came in. It's nothing spectacular. I'll open it up and see it's got the bag. And it's got some like styrofoam supports. Uh, inside the box you will have... Okay, as I was saying, inside the bag or the box you will have the packaging obviously. You will have some bullet connectors and alligator connectors. Uh, that's probably um, to hook things up. You'll also have the instruction manual. Yes, I got a I got a uh, DC power supply adjustable, and I also have Rob Brennan from Rob Brennan RC playing in the background. So if you want to, go check them out. I suggest you do and like and sub his videos. Uh, get back to this. Um, oh, you also get the power cord that's remnants of a like computer style. Uh, still have the screen protector on there. Looks like it's got um, a USB-A charger, a USB-C charger. So if you have like a smartphone or something, or you want to charge up your phone while you're at your workbench, uh, you, you're able to do that. Um, plug this in. This is operational from uh, 110 to 220. Um, I don't know about UK variants. There is a fuse inside this panel in the back, just in case you pop it. Uh, we'll plug that in. And what we'll do is I'll put it up like this. All right, what's going on? What did I do? What did you do, Bobby? I didn't plug in the cord. Okay, I got the cord plugged in now. Don't I? Yes, I did. There we go. <laughs> oh, my God, you almost think I don't know what the hell I'm doing, which I don't. Um, I just breezed through the uh, manual real quick, but self-explanatory. Um, got your volts, amps, and watts. Um, overload uh, circuit protection button here. If that lights up, you just press that and it resets it. Or actually, that turns it on. See the little redness there? Now you can barely see it, but it's there. Trust me, it's there. Um, I don't know much about these. Um, I never had one. Um, I did play around with it a little bit. And if you noticed, like I said, you got volts, amps, and watts. Usually when you go clockwise with your knobs, uh, the value increases. And this one, you go clockwise, look, it goes down. You go counterclockwise, the value goes up. Uh, you can push it in to, to change, to fine tune it, I guess. And this one here, you know, you could put that up on 12. If you want a 12 volts, you take that and turn it down. To like 12 volts even. Um, this is voltage, um, voltage coarse and voltage fine. You got uh, amp coarse and amp fine. Watts, you can't do anything with the watts. Uh, this one here is, what is it, 30 volts? and 10 amps um, the one I actually wanted was 30 adjustable 30 volts and adjustable 30 amps this is just adjustable 30 volts adjustable 10 amps uh, and it's perfect for what I need to do and some of you guys have been waiting for this the reason why I picked this thing up is because it will run it will run my lathe. 12 volts is too much for that. My bad. 4 volts. <laughs> there we go. That sounds much better. Um, so, I will be able to do uh, a video on truing a com. 
Uh, the other thing is, it'll also operate my dyno, which is also also a battery charger. Uh, somewhere around here. Somewhere around here, I do have uh, an, an armature that I will be using to demonstrate the lathe until I can find my other stuff, which is going to get into more of the adjustable uh, adjustability of uh, well, basically the tension of motor springs. I only have a certain amount of brushes, so um, don't expect that if you truly calm that the motor's going to be faster. That's not always the case. That's a fairy tale. What it does, however, is it makes it more efficient. And a more efficient motor runs cooler, less wear, longevity. Um, now, it could in some cases increase the RPM a, a little bit. Uh, but usually what happens is, is you're taking material from the comm, so you're making it smaller in diameter and circumference. So if you start out with, say, 0 0.30 thousandths, and you put it on the lathe, you're probably going to take it down to 0 0.029.5 thousandths. So it's just going to be a little bit smaller. Uh, and again, that all depends on the condition of the armature. If the comm on the armature is severely warped, dented, beat up, um, scratched, gouged, burnt, uh, you might as well, yeah, I mean, you could try to throw them, but you might as well just throw it away and start all over again. So uh, that's just a little, uh, little take on this. And uh, like I said, if you, if you, interested in seeing the uh, the, mo the motor truing and or the comm truing oops I'm doing stuff here uh, let me know in the comments um, again I'm not an expert this is just some of the stupid stuff that I know that kind of makes me dangerous around electrical parts um, like I said I'm not an expert and uh, we used to do this a lot back in the day of brushed motor maintenance and uh, sometimes it was things that you had to do about every three runs on a motor. Most motors only ran for five minutes so about every 15-20 minutes running you would have to tear it down, clean it, chew the comm, not as often as every five runs or every three runs. Um, you know just inspections you'd have to tear them down, clean them up. Uh, Every, uh, every, about every three to 10 runs, we would actually change the brushes. Even if they still look good, we would change them anyway. Uh, used to have tools to contour them. Um, you know, it's a lost art these days. And like, I'm no artist, just so you know, <laughs> I'm not an artist. But that's it, man, just a little power supply. I got it off of Amazon. Uh, I will try to put a link if I can, if I know how. Which I don't know how, but this was it. I think it was like uh, 60, 60 US dollars, something like that. So far, it seems to be a pretty good unit. Um, I have, uh, there's some specs. I don't know if you can see that, but there's some specs. Uh, there's a little more product um, parameters or parameters, whatever you want to call it. I call it parameters. Um, so just a little quick video here guys uh, I got to get back to uh, projects on the back burner that will probably be next week so again guys thanks very much for watching any comments or questions leave them below I only used it once I did try it on the uh, on the lathe and I did try it on the on the um, dyno you can probably see some flakes that I took off a of comm and all, these little flakes just that little stuff right there on my finger was probably I think I did um, I think I did five cuts and the trick is is not to go full bore 
you have to just barely we'll get into that when i do that video um thanks guys for watching we'll see you on the flip side go check out rob over at rob brennan rc and uh just give him some love guys good guy all right talk to you guys later have a good day good night good week good evening good year good month whatever oh you know all that happy horse stuff all right guys see ya bye